Okay, so next I'm going to do my eyes. I don't often wear eye colour, just occasionally or when I'm going out somewhere special. And um, the other thing that I need to do when I'm finished is to, in fact I might do that right now while I'm chatting about it because I thought I mustn't forget to do that, to set all my base with my Make It Matte setting powder. So I will do that now and I'm going to use my, um, just going to use my nice new mirror because that takes away any shine. I prefer a matte finish. That's lovely. And it's um, similar to our Soft Focus. So I have that as my big one in my palette because I shall be using that all the time. And I'm happy with the colour. So that's the Make It Matte Setting Powder. I think it's called Setting Powder. Let me think what it's called. Let's have a look. Make It Matte. I think it's called Setting Powder. It's new. Let's just go back. Yes, make it matte setting powder. So much for us to learn. So just all over. This is a um, a stronger look than, than I would normally wear by day. Set it all over. I'm going to put it everywhere. It doesn't matter. It's always good as a um, primer for your eyes. So I'm now going to do the eyes and I'm going to go all over with the light colour pan, which is oatmeal. I must remember, we're not supposed to go straight to our, supposed to use the back of our hand, aren't we, as a palette, because otherwise it's, we're finding it a bit too much for us when we're not used to it. So I'm just gonna go all over the bottom lid with this. This is my colour, so I can use some direct. Make sure you really brush it all over. I don't like my eyes too heavy. to use in the crease part the chose the color that I actually chose for my palette which was um, what did I choose I chose copper I like the shade of this copper I'll just clean the brush off a bit the brush cleans really really well so bit of copper just in I might have needed using the other brush actually more precision As I say I'm not a fabulous makeup artist I'm just showing you what I will be using in my palette And I think I'm going to use this, it's like a coppery colour. And I think I'm going to use this under my eye and in the corners. Really blend, you don't want any lines showing. This is all pressed, so you can really blend. Really blend it in. And I'm going to use a little bit of that copper colour and from the middle of my eye up to the highlight, up to the brush line as much as I can. It's good to press it on rather than we were told to press it on. Mm. 
don't like that. And I think I'm going to use that in the corners. A bit darker. You can play around with all these colours and they're very reasonable. They're only um, eight pounds, so you can have a real play. And you can use these as liners. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm just playing, as I say, the minute because I'm learning myself how to use all these fab new makeup. Oh, quite like that. We also have liners in ebony which is black, slate and um, brown. I'm just going to dab it in. Like dot to dot is what uh, Bryony Blake was telling us. And then press it in and join the dots. It's hmm. quite nice that. Okay, I've got a lot to learn lots to learn but that's our pressed eyeshadows and they look really really nice nice and not too heavy yeah, I like that I'm going to blend it all in a bit more sun's bright today it's very bright okay that's that, that's the shadows done and then I'm going to do my brows. And mascara and lippy and then we're done. Okay, back soon. <laughs>